Hi everybody, I'm Kimberly Edwards from cookingwithkimberly.com and tonight I'm going to show you something extremely simple but it might just be something that you've never really thought of or maybe you didn't grow up with this in your house and it's not something you think of as a side dish or like as an accompaniment like a salad with um, your meals and as I grew up um, we had this often and we'd have usually have raw cucumber, we'd have raw tomatoes all the time um, as a side dish with dinner and uh, this is simply just it's going to be cucumber it's going to be salt and pepper and white vinegar and uh, I would say this is quite an Eastern European type way to eat cucumbers um, I'm not putting oil with it either I'm just putting straight vinegar so super simple I'm just basically showing you it's super quick you guys could do it without even watching this but go ahead and feel free to watch this if you'd like the information I have on these cucumbers, now the English cucumbers are great. They are very large, they're very meaty and hard, if you know what I mean, and they have a nice skin. The thing is, they come pre-washed and packaged in this great plastic, right? Even though they say that it's pre-washed um, and then packaged, I'm still going to wash it myself just because I think you should do that. You don't know what that touched or where it's been, so that's what I'm going to do. You're going to take this plastic off. And you're going to go wash that under cold water with some soap, okay? Soap and water. And you're going to rinse that super clean and make sure that um, there's no soap residue, okay? Be right back. Okay, everybody, we're back with this washed cucumber, all right? So we're going to slice off one of these ends. I'm going to pick the stem end just because it's, like, kind of weird. Got me? Don't ask me why I do this. I forget even who told me to do this. But they say if you slice off the end of the cucumber and you don't rub the ends, it's bitter. So I do it anyway because it's an old wives tale and lots of old wives tale have some kind of clout that goes along with them. So there you go. So now I'm going to show you how to make this kind of pretty. My mom isn't crazy about all kinds of skins and peels in her diet, but she does negotiate with me and I like peels all the time. So I negotiate with her. So we also are going to make it pretty. So I'm going to take my peeler and I'm just going to run down the length of the cucumber in strips. I'm going to leave a dark green portion and then I'm gonna peel in the center of that one got me so now I have like this wheel effect you got me so watch when I cut ready take your nice sharp knife all right so look how pretty these are with the pieces missing got me super easy right and you can incorporate some peel, which is great for you. A lot of people don't eat peels. We don't eat seeds anymore when it used to be in our diet all the time. And now we don't eat it anymore, and it's lacking in our diet because a lot of things come seedless, etc. right now. So it's important to get your nutrients from your peelings because that's where most of them are in veggies, in the outer peelings, etc. All right, so I'm going to, I'm going to peel, cut the whole thing, okay? Same thing. So I'll be back when that's all done. <laughs> Also, I meant to mention that a lot of animals like peelings. So if you have small animals like exotic pets, like hedgehogs and things, I used to have a hedgehog, um, they like these peelings as well. But, you know, some dogs really like peelings, like mine. They think it's like some gourmet delicacy to get some carrot peelings or some cucumber peelings. So it's also a good way to get them some nutrients into their diet, which they could um, don't otherwise get with their dog food, right? All right. So still slicing. Now the slices I'm doing are, you know, hmm, almost half, probably half inch. Let's say that, half an inch thick. All right, whole thing. Now you can make them smaller. You can mm, slice those in half. That's a really nice cucumber today. Mmm, it's super crisp and super fresh. Right now it's spring here in Canada, and we we're getting a lot of. Um, nice looking produce coming in that we haven't seen in quite some time over winter. All right, so into your bowl goes all your cucumbers. Good stuff. Now, I'm going to douse them with some white vinegar. Use your noggin, I would say probably, I don't know, maybe a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half or so. I bought it. One second, I need a spoon. And you see how simple and nutritious this is as well for your family? 
as well as being inexpensive. Now I'm sprinkling some really cool salt on this. This is a Persian blue salt, just because it's cool. Um, you're actually gonna be able to pick up some of the blue flecks in the um, salt on that beautiful light green um, cucumber flesh, you got me? So it's kind of a cool spot to use that, uh, that blue salt. And I'm just going to sprinkle with some freshly cracked black pepper. You gotta have freshly cracked black pepper. I might need a little bit more salt than that. All right, now I'm gonna stir it. And I'm going to taste test. It looks pretty. Ready? Mm. Mm -hmm. I could use a bit more of this vinegar. I'm gonna use the rest of this in well. And again, just try it, test it, see if that's if that's the way you like it or not, and it's ready or not. Okay. Mm. That's perfect. So as you see, it's actually a very refreshing side dish. Low calorie, high in water content, fantastic, you know, and if you don't feel like making a whole fresh salad and breaking the lettuce up and doing all that nonsense, you can just do this. You got me? So if you've never thought of it before, I hope this video helped you. You got me? That's how you do fresh cucumber with white vinegar. So you got simple. Keep it simple, guys. All right, everybody. I hope you follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. I hope you like the fan page. It's Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly and iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly. My website is CookingWithKimberly.com. Come interact with me. Let me know what's going down. All right, everybody. That's it. That's all. Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Ciao. Tell me who you're looking at, you do this to yourself